Most experienced developers in Elm will often talk about investing most of your time right here in your model, right? They want you to invest your time in thinking in types and thinking of how, how to model your problem domain. When people say your domain model, what they mean is this model for your domain or what's the problem you're trying to solve? What are you trying to build? And what types represent what you're building? And I, I understand where they're coming from and I've started over time to learn how that's really valuable to basically ensure that situations that you need or your state machine that you need is typed and your app just kind of builds around this. It's amazing how simple that idea of getting this right first. So when they talk about architecture or thinking, that's what they mean. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm a GUI guy at heart and I wanna start with the view first because I've always liked building things since I was a kid and clicking on buttons and seeing them do things. So that we're gonna start with the view first. And then once we get that, we'll start showing you how to deal with the types because Forms that have bindings that affect multiple things can be quite tricky. And because Elm doesn't allow impure things inside of it, like when you parse user input, like when you type things. So we're going we're gonna to cover that first. So I'm going to start with the view first. We're going to start building things there.